Jason Benner here with Duncan Demon Head Coach of Wrestling, Kevin Kelly. That's kind of a nice ring to it. I kind of like it. <laughs> <laughs> well, you've had all the past year to kind of watch and see what goes on with these video meetings, I guess you'd say. Yeah. Have you prepared any good material? No, none at all. You had all off season. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. Actually, all my jokes I had written up for I left at home. Oh, did you? Yeah. So that's something we can look forward to. Oh, yeah, I guess next week or something like that. You caught me off guard this week. Okay, we, that was my bad. <laughs> okay. Well, the reason we're here to talk is wrestling is coming up pretty quick. And you know one of the things that seems to me about wrestling is it might take even longer than maybe any other sport as far as converting from football in your fall sport to get ready for this because of the weight involved. Oh yeah, and wrestling, you know, the you know, we talked about it before, there's you know, getting in wrestling shape too is there's there's nothing like it. You know, you can come out of you know, you can come out of cross country, you can come out of football or whatever, you know, and it's it's totally different, you know, in wrestling shape because those kids, you know, when they come in here those first those first especially that first week, their necks are sore because you know, in football, yeah, you hit you know, you hit, you know, and you use your necks and all that, but it's totally different, you know, than, than in wrestling and the way, you know, like you talked about, you'll have some kids, you know, they're going to have to, you know, have to pull 10, 15 pounds, maybe 20 pounds, you know, to get to the weight that they, that they're going to have the most success at. You know, we should all do more wrestling if that's what it takes to get you in shape. Well, I'm telling you, I need to compete and get about 10 or 15 off. <laughs> well, um, judging by what you have out right now, how's it looking? We, uh, we're still going to be, we're going to be pretty solid. We, uh, I have, you know, there's a couple of kids that I really... I really hope it was going to come out, you know, that didn't, but, uh, you know, hey, we're still, you know, like I told those kids, you know, I wish, you know, I wish they would have come out, but we're, you know, we're still going to be pretty good, you know, and we're going to, uh, we should be able to put 14, 14 solid kids on the map, you know, so. You know, and it's, even at the bigger schools, you see a lot of wrestling teams, and being able to get that 14 out is just big. It is even the like I said even you know in the you know in class five they were we compete at you know you think that a lot of the teams would be able to I bet half the teams that we wrestle against don't have fourteen weights you know they'll you know they'll have a forfeit here or a forfeit there you know when it comes in big you know on team scores you know as far as a dual match goes you know because if you don't have anybody you're giving up it's just like a pin yeah you know, so what do you kind of attribute this success to keep these numbers out here at Duncan? Uh, we've had a we've had a good uh, a good program for quite a while. You know we've got a real good junior high real good junior high program. They've been good for a while, and uh, you know we we keep you know we've got a lot of numbers this year. You know up from the junior high kids, and uh, you know we've got a pretty good uh, pretty good little kid program. We have a little little tournament team, and then we have a DAWC deal that uh, you know we'll have kids from all the way from pre K to uh, sixth grade that compete in that. You know so it's the kids get introduced that are not just the not just the Full time, go every weekend. You know, tournament wrestlers. You know, but kids that are kids that you know wrestle. You know, for two or three months out of the year. You know, and just kind of do it for like a fun thing and learning and stuff. But it gets them. You know, it gets the basics in and gets them introduced to wrestling. Well, in the past, you've not only done a lot of duty as assistant coach at the high school level, but really working with the little kids. Yeah, uh, Connor and Hunter, uh, my two older boys. They're uh, fourteen and twelve now. But you know, guy for since they were. Well, they started. They both started in pre-K and uh, in wrestling, and so you know if they were in, in, you know if they were wrestling, I was involved in it, you know too, and I, you know, I was going to practice and helping out when I could, you know, and when I wasn't involved in the high school stuff. So yeah, I've been involved in little kid, little kid stuff for a long time, and that helps too. And I still, I want to keep doing that, you know, too, because it gets me down there. Those kids, you know, and they see, you know, kind of what the high school program is about and all that kind of stuff. And uh, and I got one that's going to be four and a. I got another little boy that's going to be four in about a week and a half, so he's fixing to he's fixing to start wrestling, you know, a little bit. So I'm <laughs> I'll be involved in the little kid program for a long time. Well, now you're about to coach your own son here, 14 years old, it's coming up pretty quick. How does that make you feel? Uh, it's it, yeah, it makes me feel a little old, I guess. <laughs> it really does. And that's what you don't realize is, you know, uh, you know, you start when you talk about Connor getting up in the. In the high school, he's still in his eighth grader right now, but he practices with our high school team some, and uh, and then we combine and practice together. You know, I see him wrestling with high school kids and and competing, and, you know, and, and beating, you know, a few of them. You know, it makes you 
you know, makes you realize, golly, it's not going to be long before he's up here, you know. So Yeah. Well, um, talking about your team, it, it looks like the strength of what's going to be in the middle is for you. Yep. Um, kind of, we have uh, Justin Hughes back and Peyton Ashley and Kendall Carton here and Cone Ballard and all people with that, with that state experience. Mm -hmm. all, the, all those guys, the guys in our middleweights are guys that uh, they've been to the state tournament. You know, they know what it, they know what it takes. You know, all four of those guys that you mentioned, they've been to the state tournament, two of them's placed the state already, you know, and, and they're still, and they're young still. You know, they, uh, you know, have, uh, yeah, have a bunch of, you know, a good mixture of, of freshmen, freshmen, sophomores, and juniors, you know, with, with a lot of, you know, a lot of tournament experience. Um, not having many seniors, is that a big problem for you? No, it's not. It, I mean, we have, the seniors that we have, you know, we're going to have good leadership. You know, and they're good, solid kids, you know, that, that come out and well, Colton Ballard's a senior, you know, and uh, Colton's been, Colton's going to end up being, and we talked about it the other day, Colton's going to end up being a four-year starter at the same weight, more than likely. You know, and he asked me the other day if there's ever been, if Duncan's ever had a kid that started all four years at the same weight, and I, I don't think there has been. Yeah, that's pretty rare you across know, the yeah, state. Yeah, he's, he's been at 135 for the last three years, and probably a good chance he'll, that's where he'll wind up this year, too. So, But, uh, yeah, he's a real solid kid, you know, and it takes it takes, it takes a really good kid to beat him. So. Well, Coach, we appreciate this. Looking forward to seeing you wrestle. The first Matt Bill is December 3rd at Lot Night, correct? December 3rd, a week from Thursday. Lot Night last year, you kind of beat him and everything. You looking forward to, well, how tough a matchup is it for y'all? Well, they uh, they've got they've got some good athletes. You know, they uh, they have a problem with keeping the numbers out. Mm -hmm. You know, and we might go over there, and they'll you know we talked about earlier the forfeits coming into play. They'll have in the past they've had three or four forfeits. You know, or kids that that wait so they just don't have kids, and that'll you know that'll come into play. You know, in the dual match, but they do have uh, they do have some athletic kids. You know, and our kids, especially in upper weights, will get a you know get a hold of a kid that's pretty athletic. You know, and it's going to make them. Gonna make them hustle, you know, to score some points, which is good for us early in the year. That's what we need. So. Okay. Well, we'll see you here pretty soon. We appreciate you. You bet.